Hey there, Andy Black here and in this video I'm going to show you a new software that I have become involved with called Copywriter and what Copywriter does is it will write fresh unique content for you on literally any topic or niche. So I'm going to um, give you a run through of this software, walk through um, setting up a project and then I'm going to show you the examples of the content that it produces. Now and um, the content it, it writes for you it uses a combination of technologies including machine learning um, and artificial intelligence so the content is always completely new. It doesn't take the content from the web or existing articles but what it does it uses the web to learn the particular topic and produce the writing for you it's very very clever and it's something that i wish that i personally had access to many years ago when i started my uh, online adventure so what i'm going to do here is click on create project and let's say that i want to create a blog post on um the different types of uh, roofing for domestic properties okay so what i would do is i would just give it a name i'm going to call this um i'll just call it roofing roofing one okay and then you can choose a content type now i'm just going to choose article okay you can select the number of words that you would like it to write for you so i'm going to select 250 and then what i'm going to do here is i'm going to add in just two lines of text now you can enter a keyword here you can enter a question or multiple questions it's important not to add um any characters like question marks or commas or full stops anything like that you don't need to do that um any little sort of um a keyword or a question you can just put on separate lines so on this one i'm just going to use two i've put types of roofs for domestic properties and common roof materials so what i'm wanting essentially this project to do is to write some content for me about the different types of um, roofing that is used in domestic properties and also touch on some of the common materials that are used for that so now i've entered that all i'm going to do here is click on generate content and the project is being created for me okay what i'm going to do now though before we head over to uh, the projects um dashboard is we're going to create another one so we're going to call this um roofing two um, again we're going to select article and 250 words and in this particular project we're just going to put one bit of word in and that is what causes roof leak so what i'm essentially doing is i'm going to create or I want to end up with a piece of content that I might be able to publish on a blog that um, is all about roofing and it's going to talk about the different types of roofing and then also um, what causes roof leaks okay and I can re re I can rinse and repeat this process as many times as I like to create as much content as I like as well for publishing so I'm going to click on generate content and then I'm going to head over to manage projects and you can see the first one has already been created for me so what I'm going to do is I'm going to while this other second project is processing I'm going to just click on download content and I'm going to click on this and open this up and just drag this over here so we can have a look at what we've got okay now if you read through um, this particular um, project here you can see that it reads perfectly it reads as though a human has written it for you um, if you run this through a service such as Copyscape to check for plagiarism, um, in fact, I might actually do that in this video um, as well, but you'll see that it will pass Copyscape every time because it doesn't take the content from the web or anywhere else. It uses technology to actually write brand new content, as I stated earlier on in this video. So if we look here, you can see the project ID. Um, we can see the title roofing one which is what I labeled it and um, the type which is article 250 words and it also tells me the user entry the input that I um, added into the project for it to produce this content um, so what I'm going to do here I'm just going to move that aside um, I'll refresh this see if it's done this second one yes you can see roofing two download content so I'm going to open this one as well uh, drag this over and just select word wrap so it fits on the page and you can see here as well um, if you read through this you will also see um, that it is really on point with um, the user input that I entered which which causes roof leaks and you can see if your roof leaks is probably because the roofer did something wrong um, the second possibility is that the roofer got it right but something hit your roof anyway a tree a branch a rock a neighbor's yard so from your neighbor's yard etc so you can see actually um, it gets all of these facts and it forms 
a brilliant piece of content that you can publish um, straight to a blog post. Now, what I tend to do is um, I will create a few projects. If I want to, say, have a 1,000 word um, article for my blog, what I would do is I would create a handful of projects and basically copy and paste out the content to form a new blog post and then just eliminate little bits that I might not want. So what it does, it takes a job down that might take you a few hours or a couple of hours to write because remember you'll have to research it as well. So you have your research time, you have your writing time or you, ha you have to outsource it which can be costly because you're paying someone else to do that for you and then you've generally still got to review it anyway. So you're taking all of that time and compressing it down into just a few minutes which is generally you just reading through it, making sure it is okay and copying it into a into a blog post, adding your images, videos, etc., and then hitting publish, and then voila, you have a new blog post on your blog with very little effort involved. Okay, what I'm going to do here is, um, well, you can see here there's other ones as well. Like uh, I've created completely. This can be for any topic you can see on here. Uh, uh, this was just created this morning um, on SEO, and um, all we used there was if I click view. Uh, the user input was just what is SEO. Um, again, if I click download content on that, and we go like this, uh, just select word wrap, and you can see here it, it tells you exactly what SEO uh, is. Uh, SEO is the abbreviation for search engine optimization. This is a method of enhancing the quality of the quantity and quality of traffic to a website from search engines. It includes improving the way content is organized and presented, as well as the use of various strategies such as linking media and keyword optimization, etc., etc., etc. It created all of this and wrote this for me for, for me simply entering this. And you can see this did actually have a question mark in which I recommended you didn't. You, you don't need to add it it was just added in by accident okay um so i'll drag that aside as well and um there's even one here on tarot cards completely different subject i'll click download content we can see if i uh, move this over uh, format there and you can see here nice piece of content here um, and you can see the user entry here is what are tarot cards uh, where did tarot cards originate from and when uh, uh, when were tarot cards invented so this is generally the input I use because I wanted to, it to explain what tarot cards were and also where they originated from and a bit of history about tarot cards and if you look through this content you will see that it gives you everything from the year when they were, when they were first um, you know when they originated from the late 18th century um, and and they, they came from um, the earliest surviving examples of tarot cards are from about 1440 and come from northern Italy so it gives you loads of information here information I wouldn't have had a clue about um, and if you know if I was to write on this subject I would have to research all of this and then have to write an article myself with that newfound knowledge with copywriter you don't have to do that it does it for you and it is like having your own team of article writers it's fantastic. So what I'm going to do here, because uh, it's going to be hard for you to read through this content, I'm going to create a little page now, okay? Um, I'm going to uh, include a link in the description below this video and where you're going to be able to read all of these. I'm going to take screenshots of these so you can actually read through this so you can check how good the quality is. If you would like to um, get access to Copywriter so you can create unlimited content on any topic, for whether it's for articles, essays, um, blog posts, anything you like for affiliate marketing, you can use it for literally anything. Um, then I'm also going to create a coupon code for you as well so you can get a discount on that. Okay, so that's going to be the link below this video. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pause uh, this video. I'm just going to take one of these and then I'm going to run it through Copyscape so you can see exactly um, that this is plagiarism free and that it is classed as unique content in the eyes of Google. So I'm going to pause this video and set this up for you. Okay, so what I've done is I've taken uh, just one of the um, articles, um, the first one, the roofing uh, one that I produced, and I have just basically um, created a very simple HTML page. So this content is now on a web page, um, which at the minute is rewriterapp.com forward slash copywriter with two R's um, forward slash example.php. So this is the content um, from the project and if I take this URL here and copy that into Copyscape and click go it should 
say no results found for this particular web page, which means this content doesn't exist anywhere else on the web. It's not been ripped off from any, from any other website, which means Google is going to love this content. So it's gonna be very quick and easy using the copywriter software to be able to populate blogs for any niche topic or subject, okay, which you can then use obviously to, uh, you know, generate traffic and get clicks on ads, put AdWords in or other ad revenue platforms. You can promote affiliate products. You can build a mailing list. You can do absolutely anything. You could even populate small blogs or build out bigger blogs, get some traffic through them, get some age to them, and then flip the sites, earn some good income that way. So there's lots and lots of possibilities with the copywriter software. So what I would um, recommend you do, click the link in the description below this video, um, check out the uh, projects, see what you think of them, see what you think of the content. I'm sure you'll find all of the content extremely high quality. And again, the plagiarism free, completely written fresh by the software. And it's quite mind blowing that we have this technology um, at our fingertips in this day and age, which is quite frankly amazing. So um, also on that page as well, you're gonna see a button that will take you through and it will uh, hard code and apply a discount, a coupon code for you, which is only available through um, this video, through my YouTube channel. And if you click on that, it's gonna give you a discount as well and you'll be able to get instant access to this software so you can start producing content almost instantly and then use it for however you see fit. Okay, my name's Andy Black. Thanks again for watching this video and I hope that you found some value in it. Take care.